back to my channel so today I created this look inspired by spring you can definitely use this um, makeup look as just a regular day-to-day -day or as a statement for upcoming music festivals so to start I first primed my eyes and I used the naked concealer by Urban Decay and I primed both my eyes and after I primed them I set it with a makeup geek shadow and it was called peaches and cream so I set my eyes after that so that my eyeshadows wouldn't get stuck just to the concealer and then would crease so then after I used this yellow shade um, it's a single shadow by Morphe in the color sunflower and I used it as a transition color but then later on I did end up applying it all over my lid um, just because that's what I was going for and I wanted it to be very intense so I built it up little by little but the color was already a bit pigmented on its own um, so I just applied that to my crease and then with the flat end of that brush I just applied it all over my lid shortly after I felt like my eyeshadow was looking a bit too flat so I went in with a more of a contour color and I went in with this orange shade called spice and I just wanted to not define the crease, just kind of contour it because my eyelids were looking way too matte and flat, especially because these two shadows were matte. So I wanted just to warm it up a little bit more, but I still wanted it to be a cool tone yellow. So I just went in with a little bit in my brush. I just dipped it in a tiny bit because they're super pigmented. And I warmed up just the top part of my crease. Not my crease, just the top part. And then I went in with this single shadow by Skin Food Cosmetics and it's just a yellow gold. And I applied that all over my lids because like I said, I felt like my eyeshadow was way too matte. And um, I was going to use an eyeliner that was matte too, so it was just going to be way too matte. So I applied this um, metallic gold all over my lids. And then after, I went in with a yellow liner. This is by NYX. And I lined both my eyes first so when I do my eyeliner I line both my eye by my lash line to make sure that they're even and then I wing them out um, so first I do both and like I go back and forth to see if they're even or not and then after when I feel like they are I end up making my wing and of course when I do I always get out of frame so I'm so sorry about that but I'm pretty sure a lot of you know how to do your own wing liner after making my wing, I later primed my face with this Makeup Forever Color Corrector and I used the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and this Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer and I just put that in my T-zone first and then I applied the foundation on top and um, it's really nice but I definitely tried better ones, better pore minimizing ones and this is definitely silicone based and I know a lot of people don't like that because it does tend to clog a lot of pores but um, it's, it was good, it was okay, it was not that bad. Then after I just applied my foundation and I blended it out, and then I applied two concealers and I blended that out as well. of the Urban Decay Naked Concealer and the Age Rewind by Maybelline just to brighten up the concealer a little bit more. directly into my t-zone and whatever was left over I did blend it out with a huge powder brush and then after I used House of Lashes Iconics and with this NYX 
glitter liner, I outlined the yellow wing. So I lined the top of the yellow wing and the bottom of it so that it could look a little bit more sharp and I just really wanted the pop of color to be this blue liner. So um, I remembered here when I was doing it not to get out of frame so I just pulled my mirror a little bit closer and I did it on camera finally so now I know how to actually do the wing liner on camera without getting cut off. And um, after that I applied my lashes off camera so you will see that I already have lashes on and if you didn't catch which ones that they were, they were House of Lashes Iconics. After adding that pop of blue, I later just did my eyebrows and then I started doing my face. So then I used this Pixie Contour and Highlighting Palette in collab with a beauty blogger and I used the lightest contour shade because the other ones are too dark for me and I just warmed up my face. I didn't really contour, I just warmed it up and after I did that, I just did it very muscly. I didn't even um, bake under my contour or anything. Um, then after that, I just added a little bit of blush and I added the new blushes by Flower Beauty and this one was the peach toned one because I know that they have two and one is very pink and mauvey and this one's just peach. So I used the peach one and then I blended it out with a big powder brush. Then to highlight, I used this Wet n Wild Mega Glow in Precious Petals and I highlighted the top high points of my face. I smudged it in my lower lash line. For lips, I used this Kylie Cosmetics Lip Kit in Dolce K. And I lined my lips first and then I applied the liquid lipstick and for some reason it's supposed to be a nude and it looks very peach on me. I think it's because I'm a little bit light um, because I have my older sister, she's a little bit more on the dark tone side and it looks very nude on her. It just looks very peach on me. But I didn't mind, I really liked it and um, I just left that color on. Then after I set my face with some Max Fix Plus and added yellow freckles with this exact same liner that I used and then I was done with the look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know and I will see you guys in my next video.